What is the gross domestic product of New Hampshire? New Hampshire's GDP will reach $84 billion in 2022, up 2.5% 2 from 2021. Over the five years to 2022, New Hampshire's GDP has increased at an annualized rate of 2.5%. Furthermore, New Hampshire ranks fifth among the 50 U.S. states in terms of five-year GDP growth. State GDP, or gross state GDP, is a measure of a state's output or the sum of all value added in the state's industries. It's a frequent measure used to track a state's economic health. What are the most profitable industries in New Hampshire? Curious to know? Well, stay tuned for that. Hello there guys, and welcome back to another video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Having said that, let's get into the video. Property, casualty and direct insurance, new car dealers and public schools are the most profitable industries in New Hampshire with $8.6 billion, $8.1 billion and $6.3 billion in revenue in 2022 respectively. Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center and Clinic, Demalis Supermarkets Inc. and Walmart Inc. are the major employers in New Hampshire with 13,877, 9,000 and 8,370 employees respectively in 2022. What is the GDP of New Hampshire by sector? The industries of real estate and rental and leasing, manufacturing and professional, scientific and technical services contributed the most to New Hampshire's GDP in 2022, accounting for 39.2% of the total state GDP. GDP trends by sector are an essential measure of which industries offer the greatest value to the state economy as well as how the state economy evolves. What's the employment breakdown in New Hampshire? Healthcare and social assistance, retail trade, and educational services provide the most to New Hampshire employment in 2022, accounting for 42.9% of total state employment. Employment patterns by sector are an essential indicator of which industries are increasing or declining the fastest in the overall state economy. What are the employment trends of New Hampshire? In 2022, New Hampshire employs 850,091 people, placing it 39th out of 50 U.S. states. Over the five years through 2022, employment in New Hampshire grew at an annualized 3.6% below the national average of 3.7%. Healthcare and social assistance, retail trade and educational services are the three largest employment sectors in New Hampshire, employing 128,732 118,926 and 90,411 people in 2022 respectively. In 2022, New Hampshire's unemployment rate will be 2.4%, placing it fourth out of 50 states. Over the five years to 2022, New Hampshire's unemployment rate has trended downward at a rate of negative 3.0%, lagging behind the U.S. economy as a whole. In addition to the overall strength of an economy, employment trends indicate the degree of tightness or slack in labor markets. Faster employment growth often signals a healthy and rising economy, but lower unemployment typically suggests labor market tightness. What's the per capita disposable income in New Hampshire? Per capita disposable income, also known as disposable personal income or DPI, is the amount of money available for spending and saving in an economy after income taxes have been deducted. New Hampshire's DPI in 2022 was $61.9,000 compared to the national average of $56.6,000, ranking at 36th out of the 50 U.S. states. Disposable income is recognized as a crucial economic indicator since trends in disposable income are suggestive of aggregate demand, labor market conditions, and household financial strength. What can construction trends tell you about the economy of the state? Non-residential construction in New Hampshire was $484.2 million in 2022, ranking it fourth among all U.S. states. In 2022, residential construction will cost $25 million, ranking New Hampshire 35th in the United States. In New Hampshire, the selling of building permits issued in 2022 was 4,127, showing a 5% yearly growth rate between 2017 and 2022. Construction trends are essential because it generates jobs, income, and tax revenue for a state. Furthermore, 
construction activity has an impact on other sectors in its supply chain, such as manufacturing, wholesale, warehousing, transportation, real estate, rental and leasing services. As a result, construction trends are crucial indications of an economy's health. Hillsborough County, Rockingham County and Merrimack County had the highest populations in New Hampshire in 2022 with 421,953, 314,412 and 154,347 persons respectively. And that's all for this video guys. So what do you think? Leave us your thoughts in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching the video. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet and don't forget to turn on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.